Hello everybody, my name is Luigi and welcome to my home plate build in Fallout 4. <clears throat> I'm using the PlayStation 4, no mods, no add-ons. So let's begin. This is my front door, complete with welcome mat and two potted plants, just like I'm in a real home. And this is my decoration here. I just wanted a Something new, something different, this is a basketball who complete with a real basketball itself. And I can try and get a two shot. Oh, just miss it off the rim. Yeah, I must put that back. And this area is my crafting stations. Here I can make some weapons, I can make some armor, I can make some chems, some grenades, some stim packs. Everything I needed to make is over here. <clears throat> over here is my computer and with real working terminal, as you can see. <clears throat> and it hasn't got much functions, but it does work. It is connected to power. I can change the light box, which I'm not going to, or I can load a hol holotape and listen to pre-recorded stuff from, from the wasteland. because everybody has a computer these days. And a bunch of decorations. Uh, one of the pros of using home plate is that, <clears throat> unlike other settlements, you have no limit to the size of it, so you can completely deck this place out. Okay, moving on. This is my workbench. And this is a light switch, which I can switch off at the end, at the end of the day to get some sleep and all my lights have been turned off. <clears throat> Pretty cool. This underneath the stationery is my trunk where I can store my junk. And this home plate is very useful for a junk sort of build because you don't have the NPCs running around knocking into things. That's Curie, don't mind her, but here is a small station where um, visitors can sit down They've got some Institute Purified Water, uh, Institute Purified Water, underneath my dog painting there. Just a little area so I can entertain, well, at least talk to my guests. And here, <clears throat> I'm proud of this. Underneath the railroad banner, we have a shelf filled with glowing objects. Now, the thing about home plate is lighting is very different. Now the thing about home plate is that the lights inside here are a little bit too strong. That's why I'm using fans and small little lights like this. Because the regular lights are... And the thing about Fallout is that sometimes that the lights are either too bright or too dim. You can't have it both ways. So underneath some shadow, and that was important, here is my glowing place. And I do like several items in the game had this glow. I've got some glowing fungus, a nice green glow, some Nuka Cola Quantum, look at that, it's a nice teal glow. <coughs> and those things are nuclear material which you can get by breaking down several other resources. And the thing about junk is that anything with a glowing thing will absolutely glow and that looks pretty fantastic underneath the dim lights. <coughs> I have an ice cooler, which I got some purified water and some food paste. <coughs> and over here, I like this. I wanted uh, something other than rugs, so what I did was got some baseball bases, right? And it's just a unique idea, uh, just using junk in a way that's not really used. So this leads me straight onto my dining area. <coughs> And this is what I'm most proud of. As you can see, it's a full stocked dining area with a table, several chairs, a family can meet. Got some wine out, the cups. Um, you've got matching plates, yellow and blue, the vault colors. And some of them is having grilled rad stag and one of them is having um, a slice of death claw, I think. <clears throat> And I do like this place. I think the the fan light makes it more humbling 
and <coughs> it looks pretty cool. Also got several paintings here and with a shelf. I purposely didn't put anything on this shelf because I think I like it more like more decoration. So yeah, <laughs> this build is in part inspired by my uncle's house back in Italy. Here's another door with a welcome mat which I can exit. And let's take a look at the kitchen area. Another fan light because the other lights were too bright. We've got a counter and we can go back, we can cook our meals on this cooking station. I added the other meat over here and um, <clears throat> I'll just take the other meat now for now. And I've got hot plates, I've got cake pans, I've got a toaster, I've got pots and pans, everything you needed to make to make something, some food for you. I've got, of course, a trash can, which I can deposit anything I want. And over here, <clears throat> under these, under this yellow light, I got uh, a radio, so I can listen to tunes. And I've got what seems to be like a fridge or a storage place, Nuka-Cola, uh, mutated carrots, you know, I've got tinned meat, some some corn, everything a good waste of land need. I like this. So yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of building these things, is just the small details like this. <clears throat> Over here we got some paintings to, to, to cover up, and this is my sort of light sculpture. Uh, I was trying to go for an Italian flag, but I couldn't quite find the green. And it works because we've got two shadows. You, uh, you got you got these two lights here, which is creating like a, this negative shadow right here, and it just sort of pops out because these light boxes don't really emit light. Well, they emit a light, but they don't. It's not like the Nuka Cola condoms where they can actually illuminate stuff. <clears throat> so I like this a very interesting visual image, a nice sculpture, something to look at. Unfortunately, you can't put these light boxes on the walls can only stack them up from the floor <coughs> or raised platform which is unfortunate <coughs> and um, before we look at the dining area we've got underneath some tools and no smoking sign we've got a grill with some uh, red scorpion I think grilling away and a telephone to make some calls pretty good <coughs> um, so yeah uh, this, uh, the last section of this room, is the dining, uh, the the TV lounge area. <clears throat> We've got a real working TV. Yeah, I can turn it off or turn it back on. Pretty cool. We've got a red couch with another little red couch for another member. This this station, I like this station. He's got some Nuka-Cola cherry and some noodles, and. Set for a night. Got a teddy bear. <coughs> uh, couldn't find a koala teddy bear in the Fallout universe, but so a regular teddy bear would do. And some green paste, which I think is, looks nice, which I found in one of the dungeons. Very creepy, but very unique item. <coughs> so that's the second floor, and basically, um, there is some limit to the lights. I mean, you can't have cutter lights unless you get the add on. But if you place them correctly, you can create some shadows, which create some interests. And, and these lights are like a little yellow in color, and this is a much more orange. <coughs> so anyway, let's head upstairs to the bedroom, past the waffle sign. And here, underneath this patriotic sign, uh, which has got some clipping, as you can see here, is my bedroom. And I can turn off the light switch, makes more, much more neutral lighting. So I've got a clean pillow, which I've sourced from the wasteland. I've got an alarm clock, I've got a hollow disc, and this little thing right here is the raw material, raw ceramic, which you can get from breaking down various ceramic goods. And I've got a little dresser so I can uh, just put some more things in. If I illuminate this light and I look down below, I've got a secret hatch. And you can see I've got my stash of purified water. So quite a sneaky little secret stash of water. 
right next to these uh, potted plants which I think pretty much suits this platform quite well. It looks quite homely, quite realistic. I'm quite proud of that. <coughs> we go up <coughs> to the last floor and this is where I got another a trunk which I can store stuff in and this is my dresser which I can store dresses before I head out up the stairs into Diamond City. I've decorated a little bit with like a hub flower and some blood leaf. It just makes it stand out, doesn't it? Pretty cool like that. <clears throat> so books and bakery, some more signs, some more and a railroad flag to cap it all off. And that's it. This is my diamond plate. It looks pretty awesome. I was inspired by several YouTubers out there. I do like playing it. Um, it has got some pros and cons. The cons is that you have to lug everything around here. It doesn't connect to other settlements, but <clears throat> if you place your clutter right and you place your lights right, it can look very useful and it can, can be become useful. They finally updated it, they patched it in so you can craft. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of my home plate build and I hope it gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.